So I noticed a video I made about making bingo cards that had no sound had 17,000 views. And the file had been downloaded 6,000 times. So I thought I'd update the file and make a video that actually has sound, as you can hear. This lets you make uh, bingo cards as many as you want in any size from 3x3 three three up to 9x9. Nine nine. Link to the file is in the bottom. First thing you need to do is enable content so that you can run the macro that's in here that generates it automatically. Then you want to go to the sheet called list. All you really need to enter are the clues that go on the board or as I call them answers. You can also have clues if you want to use this in class or as a teaching tool or something like that where people guess and you read the clue. Enter the name you want to go on the bingo cards over here. Then simply press the generate bingo cards button. You need to pick how many rows you want to be in your bingo card. So let's do a traditional five by five. Hit OK. It'll ask you how many boards you want to generate. Let's say we want to generate 10. Hit enter and then the magic happens. So what that does is it generated a new Excel file without any code or anything. And this has all of the clues that we put on there. And here are our 10 boards generated. And they're each unique and they're each numbered. Going back to the original file, I just want to show you that you can change formatting here. For example, if you were to put uh, different colors or you to make the columns wider or smaller, put in pictures, anything like that, any of those kind of cosmetic changes you make will automatically uh, be included in the generated boards. This is used as a template. Back to the file that's been generated, the easiest way to print all these boards is to hold down shift as you click multiple sheets. And then when you go to file print, you can print just the selected sheet. I go print and then I go here just to active sheets and you can see it's going to print just the, the, the boards. And actually, for example, I can see, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't fit. That's a problem. So what I can do is I can go back to the original file. And I can actually see that that's not going to fit on one sheet. So I can actually drag this blue uh, page down. And now when I go to generate it, it will actually all fit. For example, when I generate it again, and I go and I'll, let's do uh, five again. Let's just do five. So now the generated boards, when I go to print them, should all fit on one. Now notice how they fit perfectly on a sheet. Something else that's really uh, useful that this can do, if you go to the list sheet, you can actually use this for doing the actual drawing. All you have to do is in the draw column, put uh, anything in there really, it's just a placeholder. And uh, that will essentially draw the ball, if you will. You can do that yourself, but the other thing that it does is it highlights in yellow an additional cell for you to uh, draw the next number from. And then it'll highlight another cell, etc., etc. I'm going to pick a bunch of balls, so to speak, and uh, then I'll be back. Notice as I keep picking uh, balls, over here you can see here are the board numbers and here are how close or how, far, how many um, in a row they have the maximum on their board. And when they do get a bingo, this will light up so you know when a particular board has gotten a bingo. So I picked a bunch of them and you can see board four has gotten a bingo. Let's take a look at board four. When you look here, it actually highlights it for you and you can see the bingo. Of course you can just be old school and call out choices yourself but this is kind of a fun way. Uh, delete this column and then the game resets to the beginning. Now they're still the same boards as you had before. If you want new actual boards you need to go to the original file and generate a new one. Uh, but now that you have it you can play a new game. Now let's say you like that but you don't like the uh, look here or this is kinda silly this has nothing to do with you. What you can do is you can just delete this stuff and make it to your liking. Uh, if for some reason you wanted to say make these rows taller, you can just highlight this like this and make them bigger, make them a little more square-like or uh, we could make this formatted for example. Uh, you know, make it blue. That's kinda ugly but it, it works. Now watch happens when I go to generate that. When I generate the cards, so let's go to five again because that's the one we just did and let's just generate three of them. They will all have that same formatting. So now when you look at your cards, they're formatted just like we did in the other ones. So it's actually very easy to format. Again, you can do things like move this page on the uh, template and then that'll be represented. I hope you get the idea. Once again, I have a different template for each size of board, so just pick the size that you uh, want and uh, modify the formatting to your liking, get rid of this stuff, 
and then go back to the list sheet and change the answer column and hit the button and that's really it. Uh, there seems to be more interest in this than I realized so hopefully this is uh, useful to somebody. If you have any questions just uh, message me.